Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter MCQs. I am CA Anuj Jalota. We are focusing on doing the MCQs of the module, but with a proper reason why this is the answer. Once all the MCQs of the modules will be done, we all have made a lot of MCQs for your practice, which we will try to be covering. On our YouTube channel, you are going to be finding the playlist for each and every chapter. So ensure that once you start a chapter, please finish of the chapter also. On our Telegram channel, you get our regular updates or whatever are the updates in costing and in FM. So ensure that you all subscribe to it. And uh, in case you do want to be purchasing our regular courses, the link is there in the description. Okay, same thing applies to crash course and to subject like FM also. Let's start it off. Unit costing is applicable where products produced are unique and no two products are same. Okay. B. Dissimilar articles are produced as per customer specifications. Okay. C. Homogeneous articles are produced on a large scale. D. Products made require different raw materials. C. A cannot be the answer first. Why? Because A and B are basically uh, relating to job costing, whereby every unit produced are different. Okay. Every unit produced is different. So A and B cannot be the answer. Unit costing, basically, how does it work? I will try to be finding out cost of my entire company. I will divide by the number of units that I make. Obviously, this I can only be doing if I manufacture only one type of product, because if I manufacture only one type of product, cost per unit has to be coming same for all the goods because all my goods are same. That is exactly the principle of unit costing. So unit costing is basically applicable where homogeneous articles are produced on a large scale. So answer should be C. That's the correct answer.